Oh. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. I had for Stop worrying. This is my life you're talking about. You signed the indentured service contract. You gave over your responsibility to me. So don't worry. I forgot about this. But yeah, let's let's uh, see what's going on here before we get to Miranda's thing. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Have you made this quarian your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Okay. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. Yikes. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Alright, so much for that idea. Let's, um, see what... Is... Let's get all the details. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Could be worse. Um... Why did this quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. That's kind of demeaning to be talk. I mean, more than the other stuff, to be talking about her like, you know, she's a... a like, in terms of expenses and such. Um, I'll try to do something about this. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So then he says, oh, it's okay. Oh, what's Our the state of pay here? So it's not like we can get to Galana right. Lamai uh, concerning shipping routes into the terminus systems. Don't worry, our contact is a Batarian gentleman named Anto. He's one of Arya Talok's flunkies, but we're keeping his palms well greased, and he should offer us safe passage through the systems. As long as we stay beneath Arya's notice, we should be fine. Sincerely, Valyria. Hmm. We might be able to blackmail somebody with this. Somebody named Anto. I kind of vaguely remember um, one of our, that guy being available to talk to when we visited Afterlife recently. Can I help you with something? What do you like, Aquarian? All right. How would you like to get your hands on an expert Aquarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I. Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. 
The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Oh, good. Your prejudice. That. Uh... I might have to YouTube this because it's just so ridiculous, but. I'll do the Paragon thing. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarian had better be good, though. Oh yeah, she's the best. Um, and... I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she is. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. I believe if you uh, bring Tally along, she has something to say during that exchange, but I forget exactly what. Um, and we leveled up in the middle of a mission. That's the first time that's happened, I think. Um, but everything we can buy uh, that's worth buying is, with these skill points, is um, cost more than just two of them. So it will have to wait. Now let's talk to Lante here. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. You want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. Okay, let's get going then. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Eclipse never does plan on me. Nor do the Blue Suns with the Blood Pack in my experience. It has been a while since we've taken on any Blue Suns now that I think about it. And we're sticking with Thane. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since 
Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. This seems a bit strange. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. He actually is polite compared to all the other, most of the other Eclipse guys we've met who just want to fill us with bullets. This is more complex than I thought. Maybe if we talk about this... We're wasting time. They're just trying to delay us. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. They're not backing down. Tell Captain Inyala to send backup. You got no shields! Grab cover! Okay, Miranda, get rid of that dr Oh, she can't. As usual, I will be exploring every suspicious, yeah, suspicious looking nook and cranny, and the non-suspicious ones as well. Come on, we need to get to the head. Nice targeting. An easy Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. 
She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. All right. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Sounds like business as usual. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. This is valuable. 